That was Blur, the latest single from singer Johnny Orlando, who joins me now. Welcome. How's it going? I'm good. I bet it feels real good to be you right now, though. It does. It, it does, does, right? It does. You've been working hard on this upcoming album, but let's talk about Blur, that single right there. I need to know the inspo behind it, because as I read, this is a story about someone who kind of came in clutch on a night where you needed it, huh? Yeah, so, the, well, the song, it's, it's not a true story. It was basically, I was in the session, and the producer, Rents, played a, that sample at the beginning of the inner blur. And we were like, blur, that's kind of cool. Like, <laughs> I don't think that's been done before. So we kind of, we based the song around that sample. Every time it hurts, 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 I just let it blur, 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 blur. Is it fun for you to kind of explore different characters, stories, and worlds yeah. in your music like that? For sure, I love that. That was. I never really realized that you could do that because yeah. you know you hear people talk about songwriting and it's like oh yeah this is a very personal yes. experience to me which is cool but I heard like Billie Eilish say like she, like she wrote a song about like uh, some gruesome stuff mm -hmm. and uh, obviously not not applicable to her life and, right like, that's really sick I never realized you could do that. Tell me which one is worse, living or dying first. So since then, a lot of stuff is either like half true or mm. just like not true at all. I love it. Um, and it's, it's more fun. I find it easier. Right? It's, to yeah. live a fantasy a little bit. Yeah. You know? I feel like Taylor Swift did that on Folklore finally. Because, you know, she's always written about her own stuff. Right. But then she says she kind of went into a different world. It's not about her in that last record. Right. So. Yeah. There's there's a million creative ways to, to go about some Absolutely. writing. So yeah. that's something that, that we've been exploring for sure. Well, Blur is totally a breadcrumb, right? You're about to serve us a whole meal with your debut album. How excited are you to give that to the world, knowing how long and how hard you've been working on it? Excited, also very nervous. Yeah. Um, I heard somebody say, like, like when you finish the album and you just have it like in a Dropbox or, or whatever, mm. it's like, it's just fully, it's all potential. Like, there's no mm. metric for for uh, like how good your songs are other yeah. than your own ear. But then when you put it out, it all becomes uh, like real in right. a way, so. And kind of scary. Very scary. It's my, <laughs> yeah. it's my debut album as well, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah. are you feeling the love from the fans? I feel like okay. uh, ho hopefully they're kind of helping you curb those nerves a little bit, because sure. they're obsessed. <laughs> for sure, yeah. It's definitely helped a lot. <laughs> Here's the album right here. It's all the things that could go wrong. Uh, so you've been working on it a bit for like what, a year and a half now? Um, like two, like a, uh, two years. Wow. Yeah, like a year and a half okay. actually. Probably. Yeah. We started conceptualizing it like two years ago. Yeah. Um, and even before that, I've been trying to find this sound for wow. a really long time. Um, I've been doing music since I was eight. So. Wow. I started writing and I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know how to say it or, or what to, how to do it, really. Uh, but I feel like I've, I've finally kind of done that. Which Sounds like you've been preparing for this your entire Absolutely. life. And I know that you have said about working on your debut album that it was the most challenging but rewarding time of your entire career. For sure. How so? I feel like I, kind of everybody says that. Whenever something's challenging, usually yeah. it's rewarding in the end, but. Um, Especially when it's the first, right? Oh, f yeah, for sure. Like. Yeah. A lot of people can just like bang out an album or like bang out songs. I can't, I can't do mm -hmm. that. I, I very much nitpick. So to to have this done and have be like something that I'm happy with, I didn't think that that was gonna happen. Oh, that must be a good feeling. Yeah, I, there was no compromise everywhere, yeah. which was one of the the leading principles, no compromises, 2021. Yeah. <laughs> There's a group chat. <laughs> There's a group chat? There is. Okay, yeah. I respect that. Well, listen, you cover a lot of ground on this record. I mean, from themes of anxiety, even social media, and of course, relationships, overthinking in relationships. Right. How's it been like for you to kind of open up so much in your music? It's really not, it's a bit scary, a little bit, yeah. um, but mostly just like in sessions, uh, like writing sessions, having to actually talk about that stuff is, is uh, I was a bit apprehensive to do it at first, but yeah. uh, once you kind of get over that fear, it's a lot easier to, for me at least, to like tell the world things than to tell people I actually know. Cause I've been running from the sun and I got nowhere left to hide. My biggest thing is like, I, I felt very like alone when I was uh, like in my like 
like prime teenage years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a 15 year old dude is like the most insecure mm. person on the whole planet. Probably Can't not, confirm. But... Can't confirm. That's yeah, true. Exactly. <laughs> so, very true. so I just want everybody to know because I thought I was alone. Yeah. That, uh, that you know, it's a normal thing. For sure, and I feel like, I don't know, that fear that you have with opening up in your music and also like literally giving that to the world, mm. is that also applied when it comes to your social media? Because I mean, you have such a huge following, right? Like 25 million fans on social media. You're the number one universal music group artist on TikTok with over 8.5 billion is... views. <laughs> Does the idea of that n number of people kind of watching you overwhelm you? Um. No, just because you can't even grasp it, really. Like, imagine eight million people. I can't. <laughs> what does that look like? I have no clue. I have no idea. I have no idea. So, you know, I just see the love and I see the support. <laughs> Of course, you started gaining popularity by posting covers of songs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, from Taylor Swift, Rihanna, Justin Bieber. Any of those artists on your dream collab list? All of them. <laughs> I mean, right. To to like do a song with like Rihanna would be really That'd sick. Be or like insane. Bieber uh, was like the childhood like hero. Yeah. Every like every Canadian boy like whether they admitted it or not was like Bieber was like. Oh, was for sick. sure. Yeah. And plus, he has like some. Hits right now. But you tell me to go, what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? Can I ask you who's at the top of that dream collab list? I'm, like, I'm a very on? unreliable source for my for my own uh, collab list. Yeah. Uh, it switches around a lot. I'd say like like Drake. Okay. I, I really like the new album. Yeah, I like the new too. stuff that he's doing. I know that's polarizing maybe, but I love um, it. Yeah, see you around the same team. Yeah. It's probably Drake, Bieber, The Weeknd. I really like Canadians. I, you know? <laughs> that part, I was yeah. gonna say. Keeping I see the, the thing, connection. Right? You gotta keep, you gotta yeah. stick together, right? You exactly. Canadians gotta stick together. Uh, well, you toured all over the world and your next stop is Mexico City in a couple of weeks. Yeah. How excited are you to get out there and perform your music live? Fired up. I, I, we just came off like a little mini run of shows, yeah. uh, but I've never done a show in Mexico. Cool. So, and, it, and it's a headline as well, so hey. very excited. Um, I've seen like the, the Mexican fans on social media, but never in person. So. Yes. It'll be fun. Okay, and then you, are you setting up a tour for North America? I gotta know. Are you setting up with some live shows I can't, in the coming year? I can't, can't confirm okay. or, or deny, but uh, after the album, usually people, you know, on a little tour, so All right. I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna have to find you. Good thing we know where to find you actually on social media. Yes. We have that, that's what's going for us. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, lucky for you guys, we're gonna have more of Johnny's music video for Blur play us out as we say goodbye. And we'll see you next time on ET's The Download. I just let it blur, blur.